this president has decided to show a, a gift, to give a gift to Castro, to allow remittances to come from the United States to go into Cuba and to help the economy of Cuba. He's allowed more travel into Cuba, showing an olive branch, if you will. And how has it been met? It is met with a man, Vilman Vilar, who must sacrifice his own life through his hunger strike, with many, many, many people being oppressed, imprisoned. This president does not understand that by helping Castro, he is not helping the people of Cuba. He is hurting them. He is not putting forward a policy of freedom. He, he is accommodating and encouraging a policy of repression. And if I'm president of the United States, we will return to Helms Burton and the law, and we will not give Castro any gifts. If I'm fortunate enough to become the next president of the United States, it is my expectation that Fidel Castro will finally be taken off this planet. I doubt he'll take any time in the sky. He'll find another region to be more to his comfort. And we have to be prepared. This is the time, in my opinion, in the next president's first or second term, it is time for us to strike for freedom in Cuba, and I will do so as president.